Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? So you know, Amazon is coming out with that Android Auto, but unfortunately from what I heard, they got pushed back to 2019. Now what part of 2019? I don't know. But if you can't wait for it, I got a solution right here that's gonna work just as good. Okay, so this thing right here is the Rode Viva. So what this thing actually is, is a cigarette lighter charger, a USB charger that is, that can charge, you know, your portable devices and stuff like that. But one trick it has up its sleeve is the fact that it have the Amazon A, Mrs. A. She's built into this thing right here. So that's why I'm gonna to refer to her. So with that being said, you pretty much can do everything that you can do with your Amazon Echo device at home that you can do with this, almost everything. So how this thing actually works is it has an app that runs on your phone whether you got Android or Apple, it doesn't matter, it still works anyway. So after you install the app, then every time you ask for a command, it goes to that app on your phone and then trigger any command that you want. So the best way to get it going is to actually start up the app. Because one thing I noticed, if the app is not open, then there's a slight delay when you ask for a request compared to when she answer you. And that's because of that delay between the app being open on your phone. So I recommend you open the app before you actually try to ask for a command. So what can you do after you install the app and get it connected and got everything working? What can you do? Well, you can ask for direction. You can ask where's the nearest gas station, for instance. You can ask what's the weather. You know the standard stuff, music, add stuff to your calendar. You can't add it to a group or anything like that because, you know, this is running your car and not at your home. But other than that, everything else you pretty much can do. You know, you can turn on your porch light, for instance, before you get home. You can uh, start music, you can start the kettle. Whatever smart home devices you have, it's automatically built in because it's running through your Amazon account. And anything that's in your Amazon account is automatically on the smart home connected device setup anyway. So this is the box that come in and I'm pretty sure you're curious to see what it looks like. Well, here it is right here. This is what it looks like. It's just a regular cigarette lighter plug-in that charges your phone and stuff like that. It has two charging port, two USB charging port. They look like fast chargers, but I haven't really tried them yet to see if they're actually a fast charger. So this button on top actually does the request and the mute, depending on how you tap it. It has two built-in microphones. It's not like the Amazon Echo where they got like seven mics built in or something like that. So this one only comes with two, but it works well. I mean, I haven't had any issue with it since I had it so far, but I had to make some adjustment because depending on where your cigarette lighter is, you might have to do the same kind of adjustment too. And I'm about to show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, like I said, it runs to your phone. So most of the stuff you ask for is actually running on your phone and not on the device itself. So basically this thing is like an extension micro your phone to your phone the app that it actually runs on to make all those requests for instance when I ask for direction it actually opened the Waze app or the Google Maps and since the phone is connected to the head unit by Bluetooth and that's how she's able to communicate back with you because you hear the sound coming out your speakers so that's how the math work is this plus your phone plus the head unit equal the Amazon Echo experience inside your vehicle so the only issue like I said I ran into is the fact that Depend on where your cigarette lighter is. If it's too far away, say it's like under the dash or something like that, like where mine is in my HRV. So if it's way down there, then you have to scream real loud for it and actually hear you. And with a lot of road noise and stuff going on, even though you have the radio turned on all the way, it's very difficult for this thing to pick up your voice. So you'd have to figure out some way to get this thing closer to you. I know some cigarette lighters are on above the top dash, somewhere around where the gear shift is. That's closer. But like I say, if it's further down or any way too far away from you, you're gonna have issues. So what's the solution that I use to solve my problem? This is what I came up with. This is a cigarette lighter extension, basically, but it fits in your cup holder. So it actually, extend the cigarette lighter input all the way to this so I can use this in the cup holder. So when I put this in the cup holder now, it's much closer to me so I can say those commands and it was picking it up a whole lot better than when I had it tucked down under the dash. So this is what it actually looks like. It's just a simple cup looking thing that like I said, fits in your cup holder and then the other part plugs into the actual cigarette lighter wherever it is, how far it is away. And the one I have a good little length right here. I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe three foot if looking at it, just guessing. 
it also has some USB plugs in the top part right here so I can plug in some USB device to charge them too but it also have three cigarette lighter plug-in sections so it's a heavy-duty charging you know what I mean it actually has a lot of charging section so all I have to do is stick this in one of the slots like this put it in the cup holder plug this down in the cigarette lighter and now I got that Amazon experience in my vehicle so that's how I was able to solve that problem from this thing being so far away from me that it couldn't actually hurt my voice so how long does this thing take to start up from what I've clocked it it started up in 25 seconds so by the time you start your car put on your seatbelt get in gear and start to roll out you'll hear it saying that it's ready to hit the road so it doesn't take you through a long boot up time so you can be quick and ready to go once you cut your car off this thing cut off once you turn it back on again it just go to a small boot up period but like I said by the time you put your seat belt on and get yourself ready and put your car in gear and all that stuff it'll be ready to hit the road with you okay so that's gonna be it for this video if you're the kind of person that trying to get that Amazon Echo experience in your vehicle and you have put yourself on the list to get that Amazon Echo Auto, well, like I say in the beginning of this video, it's kind of delayed back to 2019 sometime and you don't want to wait, this is a good alternative right here. You know, you can ask for all kind of requests like, you know, directions, play music or whatever else you need to do. You can add stuff to your calendar, check the weather and all that kind of stuff, just like you would do with your Amazon Echo at home. And depending on how far the jack is from you, because you, like I said, you want this thing to be as close as possible to you. It has only two built in microphone and they're not as strong as the Amazon Echo device. So then you would need this little extension piece right here, something with a cigarette lighter plug-in where you can just put this in like your cup holder and it'd be right there and close up to you. So I'm gonna leave the link to these two devices right here in the description. If you wanna pick them up, I would recommend you get this depend on where your cigarette lighter is if not you can just get this alone okay so i want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video if you enjoyed go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or anything else go ahead and leave it in the comment section and i will respond to you as soon as possible have a good one and i'll see you next time